I'm Bill Ping. I'm the supervisor of the North American Aerodynamics section. I've been with Ford about 31 years. Our, our section's job is to develop the aerodynamics of all the car and trucks in North America. We have two approaches, two methods to our business. One is analytical, that's what we do on the computer. And the other way is called the physical method that basically put the vehicle in the wind tunnel, measure the drag force, as they illustrate here. We put the vehicle on the balance, measure the drag force, which is the force push the vehicle back in the direction against the wing. We measure this drag force, and then we reduce that to a term called CD or drag coefficient. Drag coefficient is a non-dimensional number that relate to the efficiency of the shape, whether the vehicle is efficient or not. In a typical vehicle these days, we see on a passenger car, you can see a typical C sub D of 0.3 to 0.35. Consider a block, it's about 1.05. For a truck, mostly it range from 0.40 to 0.45. In this case, our vehicle coming at this low end, 0.40. The front bumper and front face is a critical part of the design. Airflow come to the front of the vehicle, go up and down. What we've done here on the F-150 is to guide the airflow down below, smoothly transition through a very small bumper spoiler underneath. We worked with Pashivoni and design team to create this design. One thing we'll address a lot in our design is look at the flow around this headline. This is a very sensitive area for us. What we want to do is to have an airflow come around here, nicely hug the surface, continue on to the back of the vehicle. One of the critical elements is how flow depart from the roof of the vehicle. This area we call chinzo. This is a very critical area. When the air flows, the streamline leave this point, it shoot right over on top of the tailgate spoiler in such a way that we keep all the energy in this box here. In the meantime, reduce the, the weight, the energy behind the truck, keep a very small bubble behind it. That is how we helped the 2009 F-150 to achieve a better fuel economy.